What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here evaluating some trig functions at quadrantal. So at our 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. We won't be drawing any triangles here. We're just gonna use those quadrantal values of our unit circle. So let's refresh that real quick off to the side here, okay? So we've got, boom, this guy right here. We're gonna list all of our ordered pairs. So over here I have 1, 0, it's x, y. Up here I've got 0, 1. Over here is negative one comma zero. These are just like points on a graph, right? And then down here I have zero comma negative one. Now important to note here, you know, you gotta have like a little key, like cool, like we have these ordered pairs. What do they even mean? Well, my x comma y is cosine comma sine. So cosine of theta, meaning my angle, and then sine of theta. Those are my x and y coordinates, right? So cosine of zero is one. Sine of zero, zero, cool. This is be, uh, let's put our degrees here. This is zero degrees. This is 90 degrees, degrees. This is 180 degrees. And this is 270. And then all the way around 360, okay? We're doing everything in degrees here. I have other videos on radians. If you're a radian type of person, or that's the kind of unit you're in, okay? We're going all degrees on these. Ooh, that rhyme, all degrees on these. Last thing we're gonna to wanna to, uh, write down here is, I'll do it in green as well, is that tangent of theta is equal to sine over cosine, okay? Or in other words, our y coordinate over our x coordinate, right? This is our x, that's our y coordinate of these ordered pairs, okay? So we'll pop back and forth to this thing if needed, all right? First one here, we've got tangent of 180. So what's my coordinate at 180? It's negative one comma zero right there. So if tangent, let's write it down, negative one comma zero, tangent of theta is equal to the y over the x, right? So we said it was equal to sine over cosine. So in this case, it would be uh, tangent of 180 is equal to zero over negative one. What's zero divided by negative one? It's just zero, that's it. There's my answer. I'm going to box it because circling zero looks weird. Okay, first one done. How about sine of 270? Well, sine of 270, 270 is right down. Let me get a different color marker here. Actually, we'll go with green again. Or we'll go with blue, light blue. But it's not wanting to select it for whatever reason. Boom, this guy right here. That's what I'm working with, right? So I'm going to write down that ordered pair, 0, comma, negative 1, okay? Well, sine is my y coordinate, right? So that's my answer. Easy peasy, if you remember the coordinates and that it's cosine comma sine. All right, how about cosine of 90? Anyone know what's up top there? What's up top is zero comma one? That is correct, zero comma one is right up top. Cosine is my x coordinate, so what's my answer gonna be? Zero, boom, done. Quadrental's not half bad if you know what you're doing. Tangent, 270, ooh, okay, 270, that coordinate, I believe, is going to be 0, comma, negative 1. If you don't remember that, you can always look back over here, right? Look back over here. 0, comma, negative 1 for 270. And we said that tangent, tangent is equal to y over x, right? y over x. So for this one, it's negative 1 over 0. Can I divide by 0? So this would be undefined, okay? Undefined for this one. I'm dividing by 0, can't do it. Undefined. Tangent's often referred to as slope of a line, and if it's vertical, it's an undefined slope. It's a fun little connection. How about 360? 360, what's the ordered pair at 360? It is one comma zero, isn't it? It's all the way around, if you don't believe me. Let's pop back over here. 360, whoop, one comma zero, cool. All right, a lot of moving around here. Hopefully you're not like getting nauseous by me moving this screen so much. So what's sine? Sine is the y coordinate, the answer is zero. And then lastly, but not leastly, we actually already did this one a little bit, cosine of zero degrees. Zero is the same as the 360 ordered pair, one comma zero. Cosine is zero, cosine is the x coordinate, so it is just one. And that's it for quadrantals, folks, okay? Not that bad. If you sketch this bad boy out, I might also, if I were you at this point, I'd take a little, take a little screenshot, right? Save that, remember it, memorize it, and you're Gucci. All right. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.